Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited. Today is the fall equinox or the autumnal equinox. And today we are going to be doing a beautiful project in honor of Mother Earth and the darkening days. And we are celebrating fall today. So let's get started. Hey guys, so first let's just really appreciate this beautiful table I created and let's just appreciate the fall coming in general, all the gorgeous, just vibrant, rich colors of brown, orange, and yellow, the beautiful candlelight and the smoke. All right, so I got this beautiful pumpkin at the Dollar Tree and I'm going to do a pour on it and then I am going to paint over it and this is some, these are some of the products I'm using. Um, I'm going to use some Primal Flow paint. I may add other things, take some out, put other things in its place, but this is what I came up right now, but I have so much fall stuff. And we are definitely going to add some of these very beautiful fall leaves I actually found by accident. And I'm like, this is perfect. Okay, so we're going to add that. I'm going to get my glue gun, some paints. And we are going to have a ball making this gorgeous um, home decor. You know, we could hang on it. And if you want some of those brushes, I'm going to put the link in the description. So let's start with the project. And guys, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Okay, so first I did change up the paints a little bit for the pour. I'm using my Primal Flow in Pumpkin. This is, I believe, called Sunshine. This is Coral, a beautiful coral color, a little deeper orange. And we have some burnished copper, which I think will go beautifully. Sorry, the bottle is filthy. And I'm using this gorgeous cup by Artsy Fartsy Lovers and make that art. And of course, I always put the link below. And I'm gonna use the Acrology paint when I use, uh, when I actually paint with a brush, okay? So we are gonna do a split pour cup today. And let's get to pouring. So I'm just holding the cup steady and just letting the beautiful textures just evolve as they do. And I'm just going to start tipping over and let's see if I need more paint, which I definitely do. And I think I mixed way too much paint, so I probably will pour on other things after I'm done pouring on this beautiful pumpkin. And I'm just gonna pour on this side in a little different way, just like a little traveling pour there and creating some beautiful, gorgeous textures. And there is a beautiful burnished copper or bronze, I forgot. And oh wow, gorgeous, exactly what I love, those beautiful textures and designs kind of like a marbled effect and if you do not pour um, just like in my acorn project you can just paint you can get some acrology paint or any paint that you have and you could paint directly on the pumpkin and I did get some on that little straw there but actually I knew that was gonna happen and I'm totally fine with it so, so far, this is looking absolutely gorgeous. I'm just trying to get the little straw off the pumpkin because I don't want it to get stuck on it. I don't mind the paint on it. It actually adds a little extra touch there. So I'm really not bothered by that at all. I just don't want it getting stuck on the actual wooden pumpkin. All right. So the pour is done. I love the way this is looking so far. I am going to deepen up those sections there. And yeah. And so I'm going to give it about 24 hours and I'm going to come back. All right, guys. So it's 24 hours later. I just sped up the video a little bit. And look how gorgeous this is dried. Oh, my goodness. It really came out 
magnificent to me I love it and I had so much extra paint I painted on these two wooden panels I actually got the Dollar Tree as well I'm gonna save these for another project for this month or next month or Thanksgiving I had enough paint for this square little guy as well and a round one so I did do four other um, pours off camera and I'm gonna save them all for other projects for the end of, for this month for October or November so I love the way this is looking so far so first up we are going to use a brush and paint with a Corology paint this kind of chocolate brown and this gorgeous deep like emerald color so I'm just gonna paint basically in these sections right here I want to give it like a little bit of dimension a little contrast and um, the darker colors you definitely need a few coats if you want it the color to be a little bit richer um, it's very textured which I'm actually loving right now because the whole project is about texture and layers um, rich colors so basically I'm just going to add uh, a couple of coats to this. I'm going to leave the texture there because of the wood. I want that textured feel to it. And we're going to do the other section there really quickly. And again, I'm just going to kind of let it dry a little bit. This, this paint really dries quite fast. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to add a few more layers to it. And that's it. And then we're gonna go to the next one. So I'm just adding another coat really quickly. And it just gives it a little bit more of a dimension, three dimension to it. And I think that really added some beautiful contrast. So that's that part. So next up, we are gonna take some of this beautiful emerald, deep emerald green paint. And actually this one, for some reason, I don't need that many coats. So if you could see that color, it's really, really beautiful. And this color, sorry, my camera went out of focus a little bit. Sorry about that, guys. But basically, I'm just painting the stem there. Um, again, I don't really mind about the paint getting on the straw. I think it just adds a little something extra to it. It's a little different. And I'm not too worried about it. So I'm just going to add a couple of coats to that. And I'm actually adding a little green to the straw as well because it's already paint on it. So why not add some extra color? Just make it a little different. And I just don't want the paint getting stuck, you know, on. I don't want the straw getting stuck to the wood. So that's all I, I am concerned about right now. And so far, I am loving it. All right. So what I found was this really beautiful, I forgot all about this, I bought so much uh, stuff from Tonic Studios, this Nouveau Glitter Paste. So I'm just sticking my finger right in there. I love working in my hands. I don't mind them getting dirty. If you do, please wear gloves. But I love working with my hands. I'm just taking some on, and I'm going to kind of spackle it, you know, on the edges there because I want the texture. I'm like dabbing it on just on the edges not it, it's a very light glitter to it it's not like heavy on the glitter it just gives like a little sheen or shine but it also gives texture and that's what I want so now I'm gonna do the other side do the same thing just add a little bit to the edges and I think it's looking really really nice and it's not taking away from that like pearl copper there it just adding just a little extra dimension a little more texture and just a little different color and i think that is looking really really beautiful so this beautiful like, kind of marmalized pumpkin with a little bit of dimension so again just, i don't want that getting stuck and i'm actually adding a little bit of that glitter paste to there as well because why not i love the glitter all right so that is that section done that part so now i am going to get out my glue gun and we are going to start adding some extras all right so i am i've heated up my glue gun we're going to take a few of these 
um, leaves and then also that little pumpkin from the Dollar Tree you get four for a dollar can't find them anymore it has a little like wire there and I just cut it off so it lays flat okay so I got my glue gun ready and by the glue the glue sticks are actually from the Dollar Tree as well all right so I'm just figuring out where I want these leaves and I'm just gonna put the glue right on the wood put enough down so it sticks and get those little glue strings out of there so I'm placing it down just tapping it down just a little bit and I'm just figuring out where I want to place the other leaves putting a little more glue and place it down All right, so the glue actually with the lighter leaves it bled through but I'm gonna fix that in a second and I'm gonna figure that out because that I don't like <laughs> all right but we're gonna figure that out and of course the same thing's gonna happen here which is fine so I'm gonna figure that out all right so don't worry about it I already have an idea so now let's just um, Put the pumpkin on all right so i'm gonna put it right where that straw is on top and i kind of want it central inside the um the straw little bunch there okay so let me put this glue gun down and let's place it and i love the fact that most everything here is from the Dollar Tree. Again, if you don't pour, don't worry about it. You could just paint it and you could do something beautiful with just paint from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just adding a little more glue to make sure it does not um, pop off. And then later I will put that little uh, cord back through the hole there so I can hang it. So I'm going to figure that out. And I'm going to place something else on top. All right. So I did add another leaf. So now you can't see the two little areas right there. So now it's pre perfect. So I love it. I am so much in love with this. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. I hope that you enjoyed it too. Oh, I just, this is so exciting to me. For some reason, this year, this fall, I am like super, super happy and excited about fall. And please let me know what you're going to do and how you're going to celebrate the fall equinox. What do you do? Put it in the comments. So thank you guys so much for watching today. I really, really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.